abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to healing and miracles. Today I open myself to God's work. So I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's child. Because I am blessed. I am blessing the world. Verse 38 says, Jesus said, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Can everybody say, Rivers of living water? water. Tell somebody beside you, There's a river in you. One of the things I loved about the Jakarta Grand Feast was that this, this, their, their worship team was amazing. It, it, it was just looking at all these young people serving, worshiping the Lord with a great excellence. By the way, just, just want to give a big hand to our, worship, our own worship team. Thank you so much. It's always beautiful. You know, we, we, we take them for granted, but they're... They, they, they have to go through rehearsal and practice just to be able to give you and serve you in the best possible way. Um, one more time, everybody say, there's a river in me. <laughs> one day, one day I was, I was with a bunch of friends and we were going to this lovely retreat house in the, I, I can see June Cruz. June Cruz, raise your hand. He's, a, he's leading our feast in Houston, Texas. God bless you. I saw Noel Tamin. Where's Noel? Noel, are you here? Noel over there. Wave, wave your hand. Wave your hand, Noel. Noel, Noel leads the, the feasts in, in the Pangasinan. And, and Jezebel, you're there. Hi. Um, you're um, Je- Pangasinan, Pampanga, somewhere there. <laughs> but you're going to the U.S., I heard. I know. You told me. And we're praying for you. We're praying that God will use you there. In Jesus' name. So I was going with a bunch of friends to this retreat house up in the hill. And you know, when when the car reached the foot of the hill, I told my friends, you know what? It's beautiful weather out there. I'm going to go out. I'm going to walk. Who's with me? You know, I thought everyone will say, yeah. You know what they said? We'll pray for you. We'll be your intercession team. Okay. So I went out. One, one friend joined me. I think more out of guilt than anything else. And so, and so I was there. And I, 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 was, I was there with my backpack. And, and we, we started climbing up. You know? And as, as we were going up, you, 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 know, you know, I began to feel thirsty. And I said, man, I'm thirsty. And, and my, my companion said, yeah, I'm also thirsty. Here, you know, I, I already have one in my mouth. Gave me a candy. And I said, Don't you, ha, ha, didn't you go to Boy Scout training that if you're hiking and you're thirsty, you don't eat candy because it will relieve you only for a while. After that, it will start making it worse because of the sugar. And, then, and you know what he said? <coughs> oh my. It's bad. It's burning in my no, in my in my throat. And, and 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 so we started walking. And as we were walking, you know, I had this backpack, and and it was heavy. I said I should have left it in the car. You know, I was thinking to myself. Finally, we arrived up the hill, and we saw our lazy friends just sitting around and chatting. And then when they saw us, they knelt down and they started praying. So just just to pretend. And then my, 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 my friend said, who was walking with me, what's in your backpack? Why did you bring it? I said, yeah, I should have left it in, my, in the car coming up here. And then I said, you know, my laptop uh, is here. And then I realized, my laptop isn't that heavy. What's... I opened it and my water was there. <laughs> this is a true story. Now, now you know there's sometimes I have brain damage, right? 
I was thirsty the whole trip walking up that hill. 